In this video, I'll show you how to automatically share your Asana task on Discord. So the idea here is as soon as a new task is added into the Asana, we're going to automatically share the same task along with all task details on Discord as well without doing anything manually. Yes, it is possible. We just need to build a connection in between Asana and Discord with the help of an automation software. And after that, every time a new task is created into the Asana, the same task details will be shared on Discord as well. Want to learn how you can create this automation? Come with me and I'll show you the whole process step by step. So this is the dashboard of Asana and here as soon as I'm going to create a new task into one of my project, you will see how the same task details will be shared in one of my Discord channel and I'm going to do that with the help of Pabli Connect which is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your task. And you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect. I will also attach this link into my description box now if you are a new user of public connect you will have to sign up for free where you will also get free task every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation well i am already an existing user of public connect so that is why i have clicked on sign in then i have clicked on access now and this is how i will reach out to the dashboard of public connect now here you can see i have reached here and after that i am going to click on this blue button that is create workflow and here I'm going to simply provide a random name to my workflow to my automation okay so I have pasted the name as when task is created okay let me add is as well when task is created in Asana send message on discord okay so click on create and this is how a name will be provided okay and after that you will find two boxes in front of you so these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this. so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also whenever a sale happened in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application and here according to our use case whenever the task is created in asana application automatically send the message on discord application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here i am building an automation in between asana application and in between discord application so that is why i am going to select these applications and i want as soon as a new task is created into one of my project this automation should trigger so that is why i have selected this particular trigger even now i am going to connect asana with the pabli connect so that firstly i can capture all the task details inside pabli connect and then i am going to share the same details on discord or on other application okay so here you can see it is connected because i am already logged in into my asana account in some different tab here you can see into another tab okay coming back to public connect and here it is asking to select a project okay so whatever the projects are available already into my asana account have started visible here okay and in front of you i am going to create a new project a blank project and i am providing the name as pabli marketing team okay i am providing this particular name to my project public to my workspace okay i have selected the view as the list simply click on continue all right i think my project has been created successfully into the asana app okay coming back to public connect and let me click on this refresh button and here you will see how the same project the new project which i have just created has been fetched up now i'm going to click on this button save and send test request and you will read the you'll have to read the instruction that it is it has started actually waiting for the response okay so once you have clicked over the save and send request button do a test submission or record in that application in order to capture the response here so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission means making of a new task into one of our project okay so i am going to create a new task right in front of you into my project which i have just created right in front of you okay so clicking on this particular button and and let me provide any task details something like create a video on google sheets automation okay and here i am going to show you a very interesting thing okay 
as soon as i will click on enter button the task name will be provided to this particular task but the details are not added yet still in that case also the system will detect that the task has been created automatically and here you can see the response is already captured i have not even added the task details here you can see it is the same task details okay so let me show you the pabli marketing team okay let us also check for other details and here you can see the task creation date as 3rd of february and it is the same timing okay so how and from where i am going to fetch the task details because in this particular automation i was about to share the task details with the team on one of my discord channel okay so what i am going to do is firstly i am going to complete my task details okay so firstly let me click on this detail and provide an assignee here so i am assigning this particular task to this particular person who is email address is actually admin at the rate pablitudes.com and let's say i am providing this due date as the 10th of february the project will be pabli marketing or how about i also add one more project as the first project and here i am going to add the details of the task something like we need to create a video on okay let me correct the spelling also create a video on google sheets automation as it has a huge demand in the market okay so i'm providing this particular description to my task okay and this is how i have created i have completed the task assigning process okay so after creating a task name inside the asana application the details which we have just received also consist of that one important thing via which we are going to fetch other task details okay so let me show you we have received one resource id okay let me show you we have received lot of id here and with that particular id we are going to fetch all the details here you can see this is the id via which i am going to fetch other details of the task as well okay but before that i am also going to apply one more interesting thing that is delay now you must be thinking what is this delay okay so delay is an amazing feature of pabli connect via which you can delay your automation delay your workflow at any time at any place okay so here i want on that unless i have not provided all the task detail into my asana task the system should not detect that it has completed the system should wait at least for 5 minutes okay so this is how i am going to delay this automation for at least 5 minutes okay so here i have selected that it should delay for minutes that is 5 minutes okay and simply clicking on this button save and send test request and here you will see the automation has been delayed for 5 minutes and in this 5 minutes what will happen i am going to complete my task creation process basically the task description the assignee date and other details as well okay so this is how the task will be delayed and now after that i am going to fetch all the details okay so what will happen when anyone is going to create the task the system will not capture the details un unless the 5 minutes are not done and after 5 minutes only it is going to capture other details basically it is going to execute the next step which i am about to add here okay so i am going to connect asana application once again and this time the action event will be the get our task because we are actually fetching out the task details okay and this time i can also go with the existing connection because i have already made the connections into my previous step and here you will see it has connected immediately now it is asking for the task id okay so here i am going to add the task id from the previous step for which i don't even need to call copy this data and paste it here i am going to map this data and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect you just need to click on this particular field and your above data will be visible here in the drop down simply search for that particular id okay so where is that id response one events one resource gid okay so make sure you select this particular task id only okay do not get confused i repeat this again response one events one resource gid okay i have provided that task id clicking on this button and here you will see how the task details will be received as a response inside my pabli connect dashboard and let me show you the details one by one here you can see the same assignee name which i have assigned 
assigned at the time of task creation let me show you other details so here we have the created date as well let me show you other details as well okay so here we have the project name that is pably marketing team where are the other details of the project all right so here i have the task name that is create a video on google sheets automation and where is the description of our project okay all right so here you can see under this under this data notes i also have received that description of my task okay so i have already received all my task details now finally i am going to share these details to one of my discord channel for that you'll have to click on this plus icon simply search for the discord and now as i have collect, connected the asana with pably connect we are also going to connect this discord with pably connect okay simply search for the send channel message click on connect and here you can see it is connected now it is asking for the webhook url and the message the bot name the bot icon okay so from where i can get this webhook url okay so simply follow these document this documentation okay so here every instruction is provided via which you can also receive that webhook url so i will take you to my discord server and here you can see i have created a server with the name pably integration in which i have the channel as the youtube okay simply click on this arrow and after that you will have to search for the server settings after that simply select this integration section and this is how you can reach out to the webhook section click on this webhooks option and here click on this new webhooks option simply provide a random name to your webhook okay so i am providing the name as demo webhook 123 okay so this is the name i have provided and it will be general only simply click on this copy webhook url and click on save changes and this is how you can create a webhook and this is how you can get your webhook url okay coming back to pably connect and here exactly i am going to provide the same webhook url asking for the message basically which message you would like to send to your team to your community which is present inside one of your discord channel so here you can see i have already created a very nice template which i am going to directly copy from here and i'll be pasting the same here and let me correct the formatting of this particular message okay so hello team a new task has been created in the project and here i am going to add the project name and as i have told you i am not going to add any data manually from the previous step i am going to map it and mapping is very simple simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down and currently i have all the task details in this third step so let me search for the pably project name okay so i remember i have provided the project name as the pably marketing all right so i have mapped the name well it has mapped at the incorrect place so let me remove this and place my cursor at the correct place and now finally i am going to map the project name project name once again okay so i have mapped the project name a new task has been created in the project and here i have mapped the project name and the assigned by okay so i am also going to write i am also going to provide the name of the assignee that is assigned by and here we will place our cursor exactly here and we are also going to map the assignee name here okay so let me directly search for the assignee name okay so here we have the assignee name as well i'll have to check whether i have received the assignee name or not inside my details okay so let me check for the same well i do not have received the assignee name. yes i have received the created by name okay so i am going to search for the same details right from here okay so let me click on this particular button once again at particular place once again and here i have the assigned by a new task has been created in the project assigned by ashmita and here i am going to map other details as well that is to whom this particular task has been assigned to what is the task name what is the task detail what is the priority of task the due date and again the priority i'll have to remove this and this is how i can provide all the details okay now you must be thinking that why i have mapped this data why i have not added it manually okay so whenever you are going to map any detail that detail will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay i repeat this again whatever the details we are mapping here these details will be automatically be replaced 
when the new task will be created inside asana okay so that is why i am specifically mapping this data just in case is if i am adding any detail manually here that detail will remain same okay so in this particular case in this particular message these details will remain same but the values which i am mapping will be changed automatically okay so it was assigned to so let me search for the assignee name all right so it was something like admin at the rate pablitudes.com okay task name okay i'll have to search for the name of the task which was something like i'll have to search for the task name okay so where is that task name and here we have the data name as the task name that is create a video on google sheets automation i'll have to search for the task description as well okay so here we have the notes as we need to create a video on google sheets automation as it has a huge demand in the market okay asking for the priority so again i am going to map that value of the priority okay so where is the value all right well as i have remembered i have not provided any priority at the time of assigning so currently i am going to remove this value and finally lastly i am going to map the due date so do i have any due date due date yes i have the due date okay so this is how i have composed a message into my discord basically for discord which i would like to send to my team asking for that bot name so i am going to provide any sample bot name okay so sample bot okay i am providing this particular thing all right asking for the bot icon url well it is completely up to you whether you would like to provide any icon to your bot okay now i have provided all the necessary details clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see how the same message will be arrived into my discord channel all right i'll have to wait for that and here you can see we have received the very same message all right let me show you hello team a new task has been created in the project pabli a marketing team assigned by the ashmita assigned to is this the task name is here the same task details the due date thanks okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to create a task into your asana project management software the same task details will be shared in one of your discord channel okay and for that you will have to create this automation inside pabli connect once okay so let us check what exactly we have done firstly we have connected asana with the pabli connect and have captured the task details but in that task details we were not able to capture all the task details okay so with the help of that task id we have fetched all the task id basically with the help of this get a task action event and here we have also applied a delay so that we can delay this automation for at least 5 minutes and in that 5 minutes we were able to create our task okay anyone is going to create a task in that 5 minutes okay until that this automation will be delayed okay and then we have fetched the task details and finally we have connected discord with pabli connect and shared our message our task with discord okay just in case if you want to access the very same automation the workflow which i have created right in front of you in your in your pabli connect account i will also attach this shareable link in my description box you just need to click on this link and sign up into the pabli connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your pabli connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video